new report revealing First Lady Jill Biden's grudge against Vice President Harris. The Daily Mail reporting the, quote, power-hungry First Lady's grudge is so deep that the only thing worse than Joe stepping down is the vice president replacing him. But our next guest says it's a moot point because Harris doesn't have a viable path to win. Joining us now with more, former advisor to Bernie Sanders, independent voter, political analyst, Teslin Figaro. Teslin, thanks for being with us this morning. Um, okay, so Absolutely. interesting. The reason that Democrats would theoretically move to Kamala Harris is because they do not believe that Joe Biden has a viable path to the presidency. But it seems like you're suggesting, well, that would be like moving from an inviability to another unviable proposition in Kamala Harris. So option B, no better than option A? Well, VP Harris doesn't have a, a viable path, and everyone knows it, and it's not uh, fair to her to be the scapegoat uh, for Joe Biden. Uh, this party decided to put Joe Biden at the top of the ticket, uh, and they need to do what we call stand on business. That goes for the same thing for Donald Trump. Let me just remind you that 70 percent of Americans said they did not want a Biden-Trump rematch, uh, but both the Democrat and the Republican Party decided to move forward. So Mrs. Biden has one job, and that's to keep the IVs going and keep propping up uh, President Biden like we can at Bernie's. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Mrs. Trump has one job, which is to make sure that the court appearances don't get confused with the campaign appearances. Guess what? This is between Joseph R. Biden and Donald J. Trump. And I am Teslin T. Figaro, and I approve the message. <laughs> exactly. These are the candidates, and we're moving forward. <laughs> okay, Teslin T. Figaro, I have a follow-up question, though. Why do you say that Kamala Harris does not have a viable path to the presidency? And then you did something interesting where you say, well, therefore, she should not be scapegoated. It sounds to me like you're saying she can't win, and you're putting her in a really bad position when you use the word scapegoat to almost bail out the embarrassment for Joe Biden. Well, I mean, again, let's be real about this. Uh, VP Harris did not win the Democrat uh, nomination. The bottom line is America's not prepared uh, to vote in the swing states. I, I, I'm not interested in playing the games. We have seven swing states. Mm -hmm. uh, the only folks that are going to come out, the independents are the moderates, they're not going to be voting uh, for uh, VP Harris, whether you want to call her a black woman, woman of color, whatever it is that they're, that they're using nowadays. Uh, it's not for her to do it. The Joe Biden is the president. He's the nominee. He told everybody yesterday in Detroit he's not stepping down. Right. So we're not going to blame it on VP Harris if he takes a L. If he takes a L, it's on Joe Biden. Well, and Joe Biden so far is the only one that has beat Donald Trump. So let's just let the votes fall where they may. If you believe that uh, VP Harris has a viable path, then let's take Donald Trump off the ticket and let's put Tim Scott at the top of the ticket. That's just the same as putting Tim I'm Scott not, or Santa Claus at the top of the ticket. Let's just be honest about this and let's keep it between well, Biden on. and Trump. I that's don't, what y'all want. So that's how that we're moving forward. Analogy. I don't understand that analogy. Hold on. I want to make a counterargument to you, and I want to hear what you have to say. Mm -hmm. I don't think Kamala Harris has a viable path. I'm not sure if it's why you said because of race and that won't work with independent voters. I think because generally she's made a lot of mistakes and embarrassment, and as you pointed out, hasn't pulled well in a Democratic primary ever. Um, but That's true, too. More than one thing can be true at one time. But hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. I think her lack of viability is actually greater than Joe Biden's because I think his, his senility is becoming the defining issue of the election. So, in other words, his senility worse than her embarrassment, making her path more viable than Joe Biden. Well, it's not viable. I'm here to tell you it's not viable. It doesn't matter. Joe Biden is at the top of the ticket. And the same way we can say that uh, Joe Biden is barely coherent, there's also folks on the other side that's not interested in, vo in voting for a convicted felon. The bottom line is, neither one of these candidates, America didn't want either one of these candidates. But here we are. You cannot change in uh, candidates in the 11th hour. So even if she was the most popular president, even if folks would vote for a woman of color or a woman, even though they did not with Hillary Clinton, the bottom line is we only have two or three months. You you right. cannot organize around a candidate in two and three months. It's just not going to happen. So let's just move forward with Biden. Trump says he can beat Biden. So what's the problem? Let's just go ahead and, and, and let the chips fall where they may. Well, I don't think I don't think Republicans have a problem. I think it's exclusively a problem for Democrats. All right, Teslin, fun conversation. We should do it more often. Thank you so much. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.